and people just want to contribute in any way they can. And a woman from Flower Mound found her outlet through painting. Here's Marie Saavedra. I've always felt like art is communication. Just pure texture and paint and mark making. I couldn't not say something about this. My name is Eileen Carver and I'm an artist. Inside her Flower Mound studio, Eileen Carver acts like a mirror reflecting her world on canvas. Right now, it's one of uncertainty and fear. This is my most recent piece. Um, I began it Monday morning. I'd heard about the Gilroy Garlic Festival and then El Paso and Dayton within hours. And I just thought, well, I'm gonna have to devote to those three. What will stop these attacks? The answers are as clear as a magic eight balls. And in oil, Carver poses a question. So these are my own words. It's like, when will it end? A magic eight ball. And it's like, it's uncertain. It's far from her other works of portraits and sunsets, but she felt called to paint this, the latest in a collection of 37 pieces inspired by other mass shootings across the nation. This one's Peekaboo Columbine. She was under the table praying, and he looked under there and said Peekaboo, and then he shot her. Sandy Hook, each of the uh, 26 victims is pictured. This is Red Shoes, Stockton, California shooting in 1989. Every one is Carver's grief from each shooting, each story. Warning signs. Laid bare. Is with this one. And that's what she wants to spark in who sees them. I want people uh, to have their emotions stirred, then hopefully there'll be a desire to find some common ground. If people really want to work together, I think that there's, there's hope. Hope that someday Carver won't hear the news and have to paint. They have been really hard to do, so now I'd love it if we didn't have that subject matter anymore. In Flower Mound, I'm Marisa Vedra. And if you want to see the rest of her paintings, we've posted them on the main page of WFAA.com.